look at your labels because there could be hidden sugars in everything. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Meyer from Low Carb Love. So for those of you that don't know me, I've lost over 100 pounds. I've been maintaining my weight for over 15 years. So today we're at the grocery store and I'm gonna show you five things that you probably have in your kitchen right now that have hidden sugars. I'm also gonna show you a healthier and a lower sugar alternative for all of these, okay? So let's go. First stop is gonna be sauces. Sauces have so many hidden sugars. Like when it comes to your sauces, you have to read your labels. If you want like a little tutorial on how to properly read a label and what it means, comment down below, let me know and I'd be happy to walk you through what I mean. This is, you know, something I grew up with. This has 10 grams of added sugar per serving. This has 10 grams of added sugar times five right for this little jar which sometimes you're adding two jars we have some of these brands that are hopping on the no sugar added bandwagon rouse is really really good this one has four grams of added sugar rouse has four grams of sugar this one here that's um the silver palette also has four grams of sugar so i'm happy to see that there are other brands out there that are also just really focusing on not adding so much sugar into our foods but when you're out grocery shopping start taking a look at some of those labels it can really make a huge huge difference. So we're moving on to our next item. Now I'm almost done with my water. Super, super important guys. I actually have my little packet of colostrum. This is from Arma. It's the blood orange flavor. Um, for those of you that don't know what colostrum is, colostrum is what mothers produce when they give birth to a child. It's also known as like liquid gold. It's what gives the child like their first nutrients. For us now through technology, we're able to reap all the benefits through the little packet. It helps rebuild your gut microbiome, which is super important for just overall health. On top of that, it tastes delicious, so it's super refreshing. It helps me drink my water throughout the day. It's gluten-free, soy-free. It doesn't have sugar. Um, I do have a discount code, which I will leave linked in the description below. It'll get you 15% off your order, but it's just a great way to boost your immune system, especially now that winter's coming. For me personally, I try to do everything possible not to get sick during these months, and this is a great place to start. So colostrum, look up the benefits and just know that it is great for your immune system and absolutely amazing for your gut. And remember, 70% of our immune system lives in our gut. So the fact that you can enjoy a drink that really is just super beneficial to your gut and your immune system just makes it that much better. Let's go to the milk. Let's grab 2% because I feel like most people just do like a 2%. Take a look at the sugar here. 14 grams of sugar per cup. 14 grams of sugar. Like milk is not even sweet, at least not to me. So I wanna show you something so simple like milk. You can make a healthier swap. This one here, I personally liked by Fairlife. I like it because one, it's lactose free. I have like a lactose sensitivity, but look at the sugar here. They filter this, it has six grams of sugar. I think that that is already a great swap. You can go even further and look. I'm sure your grocery store has other options. Like here, there is this one that's called Carb Master. I've never tried it, but I'm just showing you like what I'm kind of bumping into. This one here has three grams of sugar. So you can definitely find alternatives. It's just sometimes going a little bit out of your comfort zone and trying something different that you don't typically buy. I used to buy the 2% blue label from you know my local Kroger, and then I started looking for healthier options. And that's when I found the Fairlife, and it's also lactose-free. But there are so many different options. I have not tried this yet, but I've also heard that the A2 milk is also a good alternative for people who have more of a lactose sensitivity. But I know that that still has all the sugar and the point of this video is showing you lower sugar alternatives so lower sugar alternative is the one from Fairlife that has six grams of sugar and then this one here that is just from carb master has three grams of sugar so if you know other milks that taste delicious that are still regular dairy milks that have a lot less sugar please let me know comment down below that might be helpful to other people as well another thing that's super popular especially amongst kids are like these little yogurt drinks so this one here has 16 grams of sugar for this little bottle and right under it there's this guy that has three grams of sugar 
So right next to each other, look very similar. You can tell here they are very similar in terms of their packaging branding, but huge difference in sugars. Yogurt is one that I don't think you'd ever think has really like that much sugar in it. So it's just something to um, keep in the back of your head when you're out grocery shopping. Creamer, creamer, creamer. I am a huge coffee drinker. I love my creamer. This is the creamer I used to use. Then I switched over to the sugar-free. Creamers are a huge deal for coffee drinkers. This is a creamer I used to buy. Now, this here has five grams of sugar per tablespoon, okay? So that is per tablespoon. We are not adding one tablespoon into our coffee. We are doing at least, I would say, five to six tablespoons into a strong cup of coffee, okay? So do the math on that. There are obviously plant-based alternatives. The one that I've been using and the one that I've been loving is the one from Nut Pods. This one here literally has zero sugar. This does not even have a sweetener in it. I like the one that does have a sweetener because then I don't have to worry about the sweetener. But I just wanna show you that there are definitely alternatives to just your French vanilla coffee creamer. I'm not gonna lie, they do have the zero sugar. Now these um, are not clean by all means. They have hydrogenated oils. Even though I love the taste, I will not drink those anymore just because I know that those ingredients are just horrible for my gut and I'm trying to heal my gut. There are other brands, but the one that they have here that I would buy and that I would drink would be this one here from Nut Pods. This one here is the original, zero grams, and then the French vanilla is zero grams. So just remember that there is a ton of sugar, a ton. This is like five grams of sugar per tablespoon. Like you are literally gonna have 40 some grams of sugar in your coffee just by adding creamer. So just remember when you're out buying your creamer, look for something that has less sugar, look for something that's clean, look for a healthier alternative. Moving on to deli meat. So trust me, I'm all about making your life easier. Like I love getting already pre-made deli meats because I can go in there and make a wrap. I could go in there and just make like a really quick lunch. The one thing about deli meats is you have to be careful because some of them do have added sugars. Like this one here, turkey breast. This has three grams of sugar per two ounces. So if you're having about four to six ounces of deli meat, then you're literally having almost 10 grams of carbs for something that you in your mind is like, oh, it's just protein. There are hidden sugars. So you just wanna be careful with that. This brand here, it's just a clean brand. Um, this one has zero sugars. Even with something as simple as protein, where you think like, oh, no big deal. I'm having something that is protein, that is um, super low in carbs, because I never thought that deli meats would have hidden sugars. Look at your labels because there could be hidden sugars in everything. Dressings have hidden sugars, condiments. There are just so many things that have hidden sugars. Ketchup, oh my gosh, ketchup has so much sugar. Because remember, it's per serving size. And when you're eating fries or you're adding ketchup, you're not like measuring into a little teaspoon. You're like, right? So that's a ton of sugar. These are just some tips that I have learned over the years. I love sharing all that information with you. I hope that it's helpful. I hope you share it with your friends and family because small little things like just reading your label can make a world of a difference, not only for you, but for your entire family. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already turn that little post notification bell on so that you're reminded every time I post a video but guys thank you so much for being here I love you and I will see you on my next video Mwah.